Welcome to Top Solid Cam 7. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the basic programming within Top Solid Cam 7 with the goal of trying to show you how easy it is to program parts inside of our new software. To start with, I'd like to face off the top of my part. How do we do that? It's really easy actually. You just go ahead and select the face of the part, right mouse button click on it, and choose the type of operation you'd like to apply. In this case, I want to choose an end milling or I want a machine with the bottom of my cutter. So I'll select that. From here we need to choose a tool. How do I know that? Well if I go over here you can see my little tool button here has an asterisk on it. That means it's missing information. So we'll go ahead and select that and I already have a tool loaded. It's a half inch end mill. I'm just going to select it as the tool that I'd like to use. And like that you can see the tools moving around the screen but also Top Solid Cam 7 just dynamically created the tool path for us. That's pretty cool. Well I'm going to hit the X there to close out of that dialog and now I'm going to go to my quick settings balloon. This area lets me just modify the parameters of the basic values of this operation. For example, stock to leave on the floor. Maybe I want that to be 10 thousandths. And maybe the stock to leave on the wall, I want to leave it 15. How about our maximal, maximal depth of cut? If I go here, I'm going to say how about a 16th of an inch. Now we see two passes. And finally, maybe we want to change our machining strategy. So I'll go into my dialog box here real quick and I'll say, you know what, I don't want spiral, I want successive contouring. Looks similar, but you'll understand why I did this in a little bit. And like that, I'll go ahead and validate. Our toolpath is now up to date, and now you can even see G-code on the screen. That happens super fast inside of Top Solid Cam 7. And of course, you see the simulation of the tool. Now, let's take a look at our G-code real quick. You can see it looks really nice. Now from here, we have our facing. Maybe I want to nibble out the side of the part. Well, that's easy too. I'm just going to go ahead and maybe we'll select right there. And I'll say, you know what, I'd like to do a side milling now. In this case, I'm going to keep with the same tool. And because Top Solid Cam thinks I want to use the same tool, it's got it listed right here for me. And from here, maybe instead of just taking one pass around here, I want to take a couple passes axially, but also some radial passes. Well, to start with, I'm going to go into my quick settings balloon. I'm going to set this to maybe minus an eighth. This way I know it goes down through the bottom of my stock. And stock to leave on the wall, we'll leave it 15, that's fine. And how about here we say is uh, 200 thousandths. So we take just a couple of passes in Z. Now I also want to take some radial passes. Well, since I don't commonly do that, I'm going to go into my dialog here. And I'll set up what I want. To start with, maybe I want to take uh, 200 thousandths depth of cut radially. And maybe from there, on my last pass, I want to take 50 thousandths. Now, we have different stock conditions here. I wonder what will happen when I take multiple radial passes. I'm going to set this to 10. I don't think we'll need 10, but we'll start with 10 and see what happens. And now what you're going to see is that Top Solid Cam 7 is actually smarter than us. It says, you know what, we don't actually need that many passes. So it's automatically trimming my tool path for me based on my current stock condition. That's pretty cool. Like that, I'm all done. I'm going to let it go ahead and crunch out. And now that everything is up to date, you can see the simulation of the toolpath. I'm going to go ahead and just stop that for a second. We'll just turn on the toolpath so we can see it visually. And like that, you can see how beautiful and how fast it is to create toolpath. Now, in the last example, I want to go ahead and machine out these open pockets here and here. But again, I don't want to go into any dialogues because now I have some good toolpath started. Maybe I can just make my life simple. So. I'm going to visually turn on my toolpath in the Operations Manager. I'm going to zoom up. I'm going to hold Control on my keyboard and grab that toolpath and dynamically drag and drop it onto the face of the new geometry that I want to machine. And like that, Top Solid Cam 7 automatically goes to work for us. Let's see what it's done. I'll turn off the facing. Well, look at that. It's actually machined out that open pocket perfectly. That's exactly what I wanted to see happen. And notice also that it switched from facing to open pocketing dynamically. That's pretty smart too. Let's zoom up and get a closer look. Well you can see here that there's a little corner radius down at the bottom of our pocket. And you see that the toolpath was smart enough to automatically adjust for that as well without me having to tell it to do anything. Remember, I just dragged and dropped it over there. Let's maybe go ahead and machine this one too. So I'll just grab this, drag and drop it over there. And like that, I have my basic machining all done.